everybody, this is Jim here, another lesson for WordPress here on Educator.com, and today we're going to talk about comments. And This is the fun part. This is how people react to anything that you've posted on your blog or your website. And comments, well, good or bad is not the issue. The issue is how many comments you get. So obviously the more comments you get, the better it is for your website or your blog, and the higher up on the search engines it goes. Again, negative, positive, it's all the same. Hopefully more positive because that makes you feel good and it probably inspires you to write more. But regardless, it's, it's about the number of comments and of course if they're legit. So let's dive right in and look at the overview. We're going to talk about the purpose of comments and we're going to talk about that in a second here. How to manage them and then of course how to fight spam. That's right, not all comments are comments from an individual person that really took the time to read or study your, your content. It could just be one of those really unscrupulous people, those kids from, I don't know, I don't want to mention a country, but somebody went over there and, and just comments and you'll see like, oh, this is great, oh no, this is cold, oh, I like your content, blah, blah, blah. You're going to see a lot of that. Don't buy into it. It's all from a, a bot or a some sort of person that just goes around, has fun, and kind of plays with your head. So we'll show you how to block those kids so we can put them in their room where they belong with their computer. Anyway, so let's talk about the purpose of comments. Well, perfect of purpose of comments is obviously to comment on uh, your post, okay? Comment or supply feedback on your post. Now I've seen all different types of com comments. Some are, you know, uh, praises, uh, some are, uh, uh, you know, some are angry. You get all sorts of emotions, okay? Or some are just kind of neutral, you know, they just kind of say, oh, you know, whatever. <laughs> so you'll see all different types of comments. Uh, but anyways, like I said, it's not so much what the comment is, it's the number, and of course the more comments, uh, the more likely it'll be syndicated, okay? Increase comments means increased syndication, okay? So it gets out, people talk about it, and that is really the measure of success. It's a measure of success for your blog, okay? So I'm going to write this all down, okay? So we want comments. Doesn't matter if it's good or bad or neutral, we want comments. So let's go ahead and dive right in and talk a little bit about comments. Now, this is a section of a blog that I have and we'll go live and we'll show you exactly where it is. But in WordPress, usually the leave a reply is where you as a consumer or actually you as a viewer, your viewers would leave. So they would enter into this block, into this little uh, space over here and they would write whatever it is they want to Right, so obviously there, it'd be nice if you have the share buttons. They can share that blog or that article. Uh, and you can, of course, press leave a button, leave a comment here. I don't know why they would have that because it's right here. Okay, uh, a track back is basically letting people, letting, uh, uh, I guess if you have a track back, it's kind of letting the author know that there's a comment there. At any rate, that's basically what we're going to discuss track backs uh, soon. Uh, so, but leaving a reply is pretty simple. So let's go to the browser. Okay, excuse me, there we go. All right, so here is my personal website. And as you can see right here, if you scroll down, what I did, I wrote who I am, what I'm doing. I wrote my specialties against, uh, here again are my, uh, you can my share button, so I'm going to go ahead and increase the size a little bit. And then you can go ahead and leave a comment or re leave a reply. Let's go ahead and click on leave a comment. Yeah, that's all it is. Leave a comment, go straight down to leave a reply. Same thing. So you can type whatever it is that you want. And uh, you can also, sometimes WordPress uh, ask you to leave, notify you if there's follow-up comments, whatever the case may be. You can do all that fun stuff. And so... After you've done, uh, after the person's done typing in the comment, they can post it, and it appears for you to view. Now, I would definitely recommend uh, the nice thing about 
and utilizing this feature is that you view the comments before it's published. And most blogging software allows for that. Because you certainly don't want uh, abusive ver uh, profanity. Or even in, in the past, like 10 years ago, people were able to post pictures on the comments, really disgusting pictures, offensive. Uh, anyways, I can't use enough words to the stuff that I had to deal with. So I had to go in there and manually remove all these comments. And so that's uh, the nature of the game. However, if you open up to the public, get ready to accept all types of abuse or all types of praises, whatever may come. When you write a blog, you are opening yourself up to be looked upon, okay? So uh, if you allow people to leave a comment, that's exactly what you're doing. There are no rules, okay? But the nice thing about it is that you can view a comment beforehand. So let's go back to the slide and talk about this a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and press this.